Previously on Burgess and his bike. <clears throat> okay, well, it's been a couple of hours, probably 36, and um, obviously it's daytime now. I think you can see that metho is significantly clearer. So the process is the same. You give it a shake, um, wipe down the next container with paper towel um, and then switch the chains over and from my research the purpose of doing this is to ensure that you don't get contamination from one uh well essentially the paper sorry metal filings in the uh in the chain and these come from the machining and in order to get rid of those and to ensure that they don't end up in your next clean uh, you need to swap from one jar to another and wipe out in between each of those um, if you can hear a kind of sound that's the uh that's the white noise from the babies who are currently asleep which is the only way that i've been able to get a break so i'm gonna go wipe this uh out now um, just using a cloth it does suggest paper towel, but I'm going to be chucking this cloth at the end of this process anyway uh, because it's going to be completely doused in metho and terps. Um, so that's pretty clean. I'll tell you what, it stinks. Um, cool. Alright, so same process pouring the metho into here after removing the chain and the way I removed the chain last time is the same way that we'll do it this time and it is just using a pair of pliers and the cloth to catch any major drippage and I was unsuccessful in catching all the drippage but I think that's to be expected. That chain one. So in my previous waxing video, what I did with this is I put some cable tie in the chain to sort of hold it together to make it easier to pick up and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and you may be wondering why I haven't done that. And the rationale behind that is I don't know what the Terps would do to the cable tie. Um, now some people use wire coat hangers, but I don't have wire coat hangers. So that's why I'm not using wire coat hangers um, to solve the big mystery. So this is going to go into this bottle. So I'm going to go and pour that out later. Um, but for the moment, we need to douse again in terps. This is the last terps part. So that's completely covered. Lock that lid and hey Siri, set a timer for one minute. One minute counting down. Let's get shaken. Hey Siri, stop timer. Okay, so this is, as I said, the Terps. Now, obviously it's in a bottle that is a little bit opaque, but um, this is the second Terps bath, and this is the final Terps bath after a shake. So I think that gives you a pretty clear idea of how much this has shifted um, and how much cleaner, or how much I've stripped off these chains. Uh, so the next process is drop dunk this into the same bottle wipe it out with the towel 
and then it will be the methylated spirits one bath in there and then we go to the chain waxing so we're gonna have to take another cut because again it's getting a little bit fumy in here um, and uh, yeah it's a simple process it is a boring process um, and it is not the kind of thing that is up my alley it's not the get in get it done get out it is a planned long running sort of thing so the exciting thing is the next thing that I'm going to be doing while I'm waiting for this is a video that's going to be coming out Monday week maybe although this will likely be split into two videos now because it's taking a long time um, and that's going to be setting up the tubular so let's go Okay, so the turf's been hanging out for a little while. So we're gonna give a quick agitated shake is uh, what it calls for on uh, the websites that I've done research on. And then we're gonna do two minutes in methylated spirits. And then we're gonna start heating up the slow cooker um, to do the wax dip. So it says two minutes in the methylated spirits, five minute blow dry. It says definitely get the wax cooking while you're doing that. But also, as you may know, we're doing consecutive videos at the same time. So I'm also be also going to be preparing the tubeless setup. Um, so I'm in no significant rush. Uh, you may notice the time lapse and that it is now night time, hence having uh, some lighting on. Um, that is because the girls have finally gone to sleep and my wife's feeling a little bit better and is confident of looking after them. So I'm gonna do the agitated shake and then into the turps and uh, then we'll, that'll be video one done and then we'll be on to video two. So anyway, um, let's uh, get rocking. Okay, so an interesting thing to notice and an unintended side effect, uh, which I was not expecting, is you can see this rubber seal used to be tight and it has clearly expanded. So this is the same exact jar, um, but I haven't been running the turps through it. So it's quite obvious or quite apparent that the turps on the rubber causes it to expand. Um, so it'll be interesting to see whether that retracts or not. But uh, yeah, again, this is how it should be. I'm holding on to the rubber there and it is not coming off. Uh, and on the same, it just falls away. So yeah, maybe the equipment that I'm using isn't potentially as good as I, I thought it would be. but. Anyway, um, it's done the job, so. So we've got the chain in the jar. Uh, we have the methylated spirits on hand and we are going to submerge and then agitate for two minutes. Uh, so. Hopefully you can hear the sounds of Penrith with that siren in the background. Uh, you gotta love it. All right, that is submerged. Now, this stuff is super flammable and it is also a clear flame, so you will have no idea that it's burning. So again, be super careful with this stuff. But as I say that, let's shake it forcefully. Okay, so, hey Siri, set a timer for two minutes. Let's go. Okay, 
So that's agitated and I don't know if you can see this too well. I might just turn the lighting off for this. Uh, so that is clear as, uh, and that's what it's supposed to be. Basically, it should be see-through. If it's not, if it's slightly murky, then you're uh, basically running the risk of, uh, well, essentially what that means is you've got grease in there. So with that, we're going to go and get a towel. For this, I'm going to use a burp cloth. Don't tell my wife. Because uh, I'm out of rags, basically. I don't know where they've gone. Um, but yeah, we're out of rags, so I'm going to go get a burp cloth. And then we're going to clean the chain, dry it off, and it should be good to go get waxed. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, so the unintended benefit of using a plain white burp cloth is uh, that you'll be able to see pretty, pretty clearly uh, and pretty immediately whether this has actually been effective. So the goal is to try and find the very end of the chain with these pliers and it's going to be a bit like uh, that the claw scene in Toy Story uh, trying to find it. Um, there we go. And then we are going to try as best we can to straighten it out and then clean it. That is the residue. So really, literally, almost nothing. Um, so we're going to hang those out to dry. Going to get the blow dryer on them, and um, that's it. We're we're ready to get waxing. Genuinely, the only use I have left for this hair dryer. Does nothing for me. I used to spend five minutes drying my own hair. Now it never gets wet. So, super exciting, wax has finally melted and we are almost ready to get ripped in. Uh, so if you watched the last video, you would have seen how I did this. Well, luckily I can't work out where they are on there now. Uh, basically what I use is a cable tie and what you do this for is you want the chain to be able to lie flat in your crock pot. So you are going to want to loop your chain over itself several times. And you're going to need to run something through those loops to make sure it stays looped. And uh, the best thing that I have on hand is a cable tie that I run through each of those loops. Uh, then all you do is tie it off at the end and you are good to get waxing. Now you could potentially use um, string for this but I don't think it would be as effective. It could potentially become a bit messy so you need to get that fully submerged which means you need something that you're willing to get a little bit of wax on. So my oil or my greasing toothbrush is going to be that sacrifice. And uh, we'll get you in. I think this is going to shine a little bit, but we'll get you in to have a look at the process of fully submerging. Um, 
and we are looking like in order to do this we may need to chuck in that final bit of absolute black wax so I'm just going to pop that open so I'll put the camera back down and pop that in there and we may as well do all of the quick links at the same time so three four and oh geez it tells you to give about 20 minutes to do this so i'm not in a huge rush so i'm going to say hey siri set a timer for 25 minutes done 25 minutes counting down all right we'll be back okay so one difficult thing about having a black solution with a black crock pot is the quick links are basically impossible to find but after madly sort of scraping around in there what i've worked out is with a stroke of genius if you tilt the crock pot the quick links will appear so um yeah there's a little tip for okay, you so we are like super close to being done with the chain waxing and all it says as the last thing to do is um actually wash your components so i've just got a blue sort of rough brush and a bucket of degreaser and i'm just going to go over this uh with the brush just to get any shit off it and um then we're done um so yeah super exciting also uh some movement on the tubeless front which is really encouraging for the next video uh and also really encouraging for just like my day-to-day -day rides so i'm genuinely pumped about that um so yeah happy days anyway um, okay so as often happens with these things my garage is now an absolute mess um but our chain is done so all i need to do now is break it in measure it out and we're good to go um so I've seen, or a mate told me that a Sulu bin or a garbage bin handle is a good thing to break it in on. So I'm going to give that a go, um, just to sort of loosen up that wax. And then, um, yeah, we're done. Happy days. So next uh, thing will be having it all finished. It's really exciting. Okay, so we are done and um, this is the outcome and uh, what a mission um, you may also know a sneak peek of next week's video is uh, included um, but yeah I'm exhausted, but I'm super stoked with the outcome of that, and I think it looks really cool. The black and uh, gold looks plush, so um, I'm going to go to bed because this has been an absolute mission, and um, I'm very happy that we're done. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoy the tubeless one, which will come out next week.